afternoon everyone. It's Tuesday afternoon. It's Tuesday afternoon in London. It is a cloudy day here in London. Uh, I just wanted to start this video today with a little comment about my channel. Uh, obviously YouTube is very difficult. It's a very, it, it, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time, especially when you've got other work. Um, and I appreciate all the positive responses that I've had since I've had this channel in the past year and a half or almost a year and a half. And I've got to talk to a lot of people who I wouldn't normally uh, have met and that's been a really good experience. But of course with the good people there's always the bad people. There's always the negative comments, there's always the uh, inappropriate comments that you get. Uh, I'm not going to make these comments stop me doing this channel. Um, but for those people who know they've been placing these sort of comments on my channel, just don't. Anyway, Porsche has just released the Carrera 911T. The 911T apparently less is more as Porsche is saying in their marketing material. Now whether or not this uh, this new model is a genuine model or whether or not it's just a marketing uh, a marketing model which Porsche seem to be doing a lot of at the moment uh, I'm not sure. Um, I like the general concept of it. Uh, I'm not completely sure that the 911T uh, the 911T um, name is correct. Uh, for this model, but uh, I do like the idea of it. Except the marketing material on YouTube, which I'm going to show you a clip of now, it's it's going to start now. Yeah, so that's that's the beginning of the video. I'm not showing, you know, the latter half of the video is okay because it shows the car, but the beginning of the video, I don't know who Porsche is trying to target with that video. It, it I think it's terrible. I think it's really, really bad. It makes me not want to buy the car by watching it. Uh, but the imagery of the car is really good. I saw some really good imagery online, which uh, has the car very uh, scruffed up, dirty after a really long hard drive and I think those photos are fantastic. Porsche stick to using those sort of photos. I'm not sure if they were Porsche's own photos, press photos, or they were um, a magazine doing a review of it. I think they might have been Porsche's press photos. But anyway, uh, the 911 Carrera T has been launched. I thought I'd do a video on it today um, just because it's a new model and it should be a reasonably important model because it's based on a classic. Uh, but let's let's uh, let's have a look at the configurator and see what uh, what we can spec it as. I mean, a couple of things which are which are good about the 911T is one, it, you can have it with no rear seats, no PCM. I think it's a no-cost option to get the seats reinstalled and the PCM uh, if you want that. I think you go with the PCM. I think I kind of like the no rear seats. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, you can get the uh, GT3 style, the GT3 sport seats, the full sport seats. You can get them as an option. Uh, that's the first time I think they've uh, made them available for a uh, base Carrera. So that's pretty cool. You can get the actual um, the sport seats. Um, I think the decal on the side looks quite nice. Uh, power to weight ratio I think is slightly better. I think 0 to 100 or 60 or whatever it is is only 0.1 or point something of a second. It's very, very, very little uh, gain there. I'm not sure how much more it is than the normal model. We'll check it when we go through the configurator. I watched, I read an Australian review of it, and I think it was about $20,000 Australian more than the previous model. And they did the comparison and, and with the options that it comes with, because it comes standard with a sports exhaust. And the sports exhaust, I think, is, you know, that's pretty good. So you can get no back seat, sports exhaust. Uh, it has the pulls on the doors as well, so it has the strap pulls. There is an option where you can option it with the, uh, the stitching in different colors, yellow, red, silver, I think, for extra cost. And that changes the door pull handles. They're standard black, but they can be a color, and it changes the, uh, the, seat, uh, the seat embroidery as well to the color. Um, what else? What else? I think that's about it. I think, apart from that, I think if you're in the market for a new Carrera, you may look at the 911 Carrera T. Uh, like I said, you can spec it with back seats and you can spec it with the PCM. Um, but with the options you get on it, I mean, maybe you would look at it. Um, for me, I would prefer the GTS, I would prefer the GT3. Um, as you know, I have a 2006 997.1 Carrera. I'm happy with that. I don't, wouldn't see the need to go into a 991 Carrera T. I would go up to a, a different level. But I think if you're new to the brand and you, and you have the cash to buy a new model, or you're leasing the car, um, it's probably it could be a good um, it could be a good uh, solution. It could be a good model to have. But um, like I said, some of these models are a little bit over marketed by Porsche, and 
obviously they're they're working on playing with the classic line because classic Porsches are now so expensive and so sought after and Instagram's full of them so why not get onto the um, and other social media so why not get onto the uh, bandwagon so to speak and uh, and bring out a model which which has the essence of the 911 the 911T um, yeah so anyway let's have a quick look at the configurator uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on it but let's have a quick look at it and see what we can spec it with take a look at the uh, 911 Carrera T uh, which was uh, I saw the press release uh, yesterday morning when I woke up um, I'm doing it on the UK configurator uh, it's 85,000 pounds 86,000 pounds close to including that um, they show the yellow I think it comes in yellow orange Miami blue black white GT silver uh, I like the yellow in this one. I think I like the brighter colors, the, uh, the yellow, the orange. So let's go here, build your own. Let's hope the internet's working good today. It's working a lot better today. Um, okay, so let's go to the color. I'm going to pick lava orange. I think the lava orange with the wheels looks quite good. Um, so yeah, I think it looks, it looks pretty good. So we'll stick with the orange. You have the option of wheels. It comes standard with the 20 inch Carrera S wheels, or you can get the 20 inch Carrera Sport wheels. Um, I prefer, it hasn't updated yet. I think I prefer the 20 inch, uh, so there's the 20 inch Carrera Sport wheels. Um, I know Nick Murray's a fan of those wheels. I think they're the ones that he's got on his 911. I'm gonna stick with the uh, 20 inch Carrera S wheels because I, um, I think they look good. Okay, so other options. Um, the interior is leather interior with fabric upholstery seats. Uh, black leather interior in combination with Car Carrera T interior package. I kind of like the Carrera T interior package and I'm gonna go with the gray. So when you add the gray, that's adding the uh, stitch detail, like I said, I think on the pulls of the door and uh, the stitching on the seat. Uh, the black leather interior is removed. Let's accept that and see what happens. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. So, ah, it doesn't have the articulated stitching, the colored stitching. But I like that. It's got the leather dash. It looks as if it's got leather, leather dash. Uh, leather dash, let's make that bigger. Uh, it's got the Sportex seats in the center, leather here, uh, leather dash here, uh, it looks good. I'm gonna stick with that, let's leave that. Um, seats, um, you, like I said, you can option the full bucket seats. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna leave the standard seats. Uh, I think the standard seats are fine for this model. I don't think you want the GT3 style um, seats for this model. Um, just my opinion, um, I think it's better with, these, with the, just the standard four-way electric seats. Okay, so let's go to the exterior. Deletion of model designation, no. Uh, deletion of side logo, no, I kind of like the side logo. Um, LED headlights, I'm not a fan of. I will add the Byzenon headlights. Uh, tinted tail lights, I don't think so. Porsche entry and drive, I think you have to do. So when you do that, it says you have to add the Porsche uh, communication management, the PCM. I was going to add that anyway. I'm going to leave the receipts out, uh, but I'm going to leave, I'm going to add the, the PCM. Uh, I don't think I can live with a car without the PCM. Uh, park assist, I'm going to go yes. Oh, sorry, park assist front and rear. So let's uh, accept that, which will take off the front. They're both together. Reversing camera, not necessary. Uh, rear wiper, not necessary on this one. Folding mirrors, does that change the style of the mirror? That's the question. No, okay, let's leave the fold, electric folding mirrors. Um, I thought it changed the mirror when you put it onto the electric, it changed the shape. No, okay. Sunroof, not necessary. Uh, privacy glass, I like the tinted glass, uh, especially if you live in a hot country like Australia, even though I'm specking this in the UK, I'm always thinking Australian heat, Australian sun. Um, I was just in Vegas actually and we were in a car in a Escalade and the Escalade it had tinted glass and the sun was still so hot beating through it. Um, I mean I can't imagine how hot it is in Vegas in the peak of summer. Um, 
sport design package. I think we'll leave that off. That's the new front apron, apron, etc. Uh, headlight cleaning system. We don't worry about the painting of that. Fuel cap is the. Um, oh, they're not showing you the image. The fuel cap is the one I bought for my 997.1. Uh, I would always spec the, the aluminium fuel cap. It's the one with the set of holes and the metal. <clears throat> it's not actually metal. I think it's aluminium look. Ah, deletion of rear screen and rear side windows in lightweight glass. So, it comes with, that was the other thing which I didn't mention. The uh, 911 Carrera T comes with uh, lightweight glass, which reduces the weight of the car as well, which improves the power to weight ratio. Um, I'm going to leave the lightweight glass. I'm not going to change that. Transmission chassis, I'm going to leave it on manual transmission. I think this car should be a manual, even though the PDK is better, uh, faster, probably better fuel economy. I think the manual is what the 911 T, 911 Carrera T should be. Um, you can get rear axle steering. I'm not sure about rear axle steering. Would you add it? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, is that standard on the GT3? I'm not really that familiar with the rear axle steering. I know when you're doing a three point turn, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, I don't know if I, if it's something that I would spec though. Uh, front axle lift system. Now the front axle lift system is obviously a necessary option if you are buying a GTS because of the apron and a GT3. Um, this is reduced, the height of this car is reduced I think by 15 millimeters. Do you want a front axle lift? See, I'm not sure. Is it, is it too low? Let's just add it for now. Um, <clears throat> Chrono package including Porsche Track Precision app. I'm going to add that because we've got the PCM. Cruise control I'm not going to worry about. Lane change assist I'm not going to worry about. Uh, light design package I'm going to tick. Light design package is just the extra uh, LED light in the overhead console, door handle, storage compartment. So I'm going to add that. Um, smoking package, no. Passenger storage net, no. Fire extinguisher, no. Uh, what else? Vehicle key painted, I'm going to tick yes to that because you get it in the orange. <coughs> instrument dials in guards red, I'm going to leave the instrument dials in the color that they come. Uh, unless it should be white. I think the black is much easier to see though, that's the problem. I quite like the white. Ah, see the, the interior does, sorry. From what I said earlier, I don't think it updated. Let's just go back to interior shot when it loads. Uh, I picked the um, silver gray. Oh, it does, see? Now the seats have the 911 in the articulated stitches in silver, uh, silver on the dash. I kind of like that with the orange, I think it works quite well. Um, I'm going to leave, I'm actually going to change the instrument dials to white. I know they're easy to see when they're in black, but I think that's kind of nice in the interior. It kind of makes it look a little bit more retro if you're going for that. Um, what else, what else, what else? Rear seats. So this is the option here, uh, rear seats where you can have the rear seats reinstated. I think I'm going to leave them out. I'm going to leave them out. Uh, leather interior package. I don't think I'm going to worry about any of the leather interior package. I think it's fine how it is. I wouldn't waste money on doing more leather on this model. I think there's enough. Uh, floor mats, I think you need. Uh, inner door sills, guards in leather. Not going to worry about that. None of the leather. Alcantara. Alcantara. Now, the sports steering wheel in Alcantara, possibly. But there's no other Alcantara in the car. Maybe I just keep it. I think. I think with this model, I mean, if you're looking back to the original, I think you just keep it as leather and fabric. So I'm going to untick that. No Alcantara. Uh, interior communication, pedals in aluminium. What do they actually look like? Does anyone actually have them on their 991? Actually, I don't mind those. I'm going to add the pedals in aluminium. Hasn't updated yet, but let's update. Let's, uh, let's add the pedals in aluminium. It's only 245 pounds. Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, personalized door sill guards and stainless steel, forget about that. Audio and communication. Uh, because we've got the PCM, I'm going to add the Bose. Um, I like to have a reasonable system. My Bose is in my uh, 997, my 2006 997, and the Bose is actually quite good. It was very good in my Audi. It's probably not as good as the Audi, but it is, it is still pretty good. 
uh, wheels and accessories, decorative valve sleeves in black, decorative valve sleeves in silver, don't think we'll worry about any of that, interior, uh, floor mats, key pouches, I'm not going to worry about any of that, transport and protection, so you can get all the racks, uh, I'm not going to worry about those accessories. Let's just do just spec the car, and then they've got cleaning things. I think this is a new thing on the on the uh, configurator. I don't remember seeing this on the US configurator or the Australian configurator, where they put more of the the base price is eighty five thousand five hundred and seventy six pounds. Uh, the price for the options is ten thousand pounds. It goes up to ninety six thousand pounds, including VAT. Um, so this is what it looks like. Let's make it larger. So we've got the nine eleven T in the lava orange. Uh, two exhausts at the back, like I said, the sports exhaust comes standard on this car, which is a really good, um, I think, a good idea from Porsche. Um, I'm still not convinced that this is a future classic heritage model. I know they're saying less is more, and I think less is more is okay. I think some of the other advertising where they're, they're trying to push the similarities to the original, I think it's, it's not as close as what Porsche are doing. It's, it's marketing, it's marketing, we know that. But we still love you, Porsche, we love the brand. I love the 911, don't get me wrong. It's just not, I, I mean, I like how it looks. I'm looking at it now and I think it looks pretty good. Oh, these grills are in black too. So I kind of like the lava orange with the gray and then inside you've got the black seats and you've got the silver stitch. I think it looks good. And I like the interior with this fabric. I like the, the original type fabric. Uh, I thought it was Sportex, that's because it didn't load before. So it actually is, the stripe fabric, and then we optioned a few things here. We actually put in the PCM. It doesn't come with the PCM. You just get the empty hole if you don't uh, if you don't add it back in. No cost option though. Porsche don't charge you to put it back in. So that's the seats. I like those seats. I think they look good. And that's it. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, it's not uh, the sort of. I don't think I would buy the car. I'm still aspiring to a GTS, GT3, or GT3 RS. It's, that's for me. I think it appeals to a certain market. Um, I kind of make it, it kind of looks a bit to me like the, the models that Triumph make and, and those sort of motorcycle brands make, harking back to the heritage, but not really a lot of similarity just in the name. I think using 911 Carrera T is, is a good idea. I mean, it's an entry level, entry level classic uh, future collectible, which is what Porsche would like you to think. Uh, anyway, Thanks for watching today. Um, I'm glad there are a lot of people who are enjoying the channel. I'm glad that a lot of people are deciding to subscribe and to like my videos. Um, the support really helps me to keep going. Um, I get inspiration from a lot of things. I get inspiration from your comments, from your feedback. I'm going to be back in Australia soon, so I'm going to do a lot more videos with my 911 997.1 uh, Carrera. Okay, so thanks for all the support on the channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Let's, once again, if you haven't seen my videos before, please watch some more. Um, you might actually enjoy some of them, I hope. And uh, if you like, please like. And if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. It helps me and it helps me grow. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye. I'm drifting.